Hello, my name is Nigel Whittingham and I am going to demonstrate how to create a simple bomb peak region table. So firstly we need to open up our assembly drawing. There we are, we've got an exploding view of the assembly there. And so we need to add a table. So we select table, table, and I'm going to select a, a 4x2 table and place it so. So the first, the top row is just going to be descriptive cells and we're going to make the second row the repeat region area. So in the top row, we'll just add some descriptive text. We can have an index, components, type, And quantity. And then we're going to select table, repeat region, add to, to add this repeat region, and we select the first cell in the second row and the last cell in the second row. And then you have the it shows the repeat region highlighted there. So we select done. And now we can double click in the, the repeat region cell and add a report symbol, RPT index for the index, assembly member name for the component, assembly member type, show the type of component, and RPT quantity. And if we now switch sims, the table updates to show the components. At the moment, it's showing every component, however many times it's in the assembly. So if we want to show just the component once with the quantity value, we need to go into repeat region, attributes, select the region, and change it to no duplicates. And if we go done, there you go, it updates to show just the component once, bolt 528, for example, and this quantity of three. Okay, I'm just going to select that column and change the width of it so we can read the text in it better. Here we go. So at the moment, that's sh showing the quantity, but it's only showing top level components. It's not showing sub-assembly components, okay? Crankshaft and flywheel are not showing. And that's because if you want to show sub-assembly sub, uh, components, you need to go repeat region, attributes, select the region, and change it from flat to recursive. And there you go, it updates and shows all the extra components in there. Okay, done. And so all that's left to do now is to show the bomb balloons on the actual view. And we can do that by selecting create balloons all. And there you go. Thank you for watching. And I hope this demonstration has been useful.